Back in the garage tonight, uh, I had a good two days of riding over in Detroit Lakes with Animal over here. Uh, ran great. Uh, the only issue I had was about 4,500 RPMs. It seemed like uh, when I was in the woods and where the trails would weave and wind out, uh, in and out, at about 4,500 RPMs, I was getting like this exhaust sounding rattle. And I couldn't figure out exactly what it might be, but I, I, I thought maybe there's a bolt or something loose on the exhaust. So when I was hitting that certain RPM range, that's where I was getting like this slight rattle sound. It wasn't horrible and it would go away after, you know, I'd start gaining some speed and you get in more trails that are longer and I could get a little more top end speed. Um, but I figured right in here, I just opened the side panel up and see the exhaust seemed good. The turbo seemed good. Everything in there seemed all right. Uh, mounts for the coolant and everything didn't seem, but then I came down to this, uh, this piping here, this tubing for this coolant and that comes up and goes around here. And it's also got this spring right in there not spring, but coil going around this to protect it. And then if you go and you move this tubing right here, it's hitting right at the motor right back up in there. So I'm thinking that that is what's causing my issue. So I'm gonna to try to get that mounted and then hopefully that'll take care of my vibration noise that I'm getting. Um, mechanically, everything was sound. It was just more of an annoyance when you're working at that slow RPM. And I, I never like rattles or noise or anything like that when I'm riding. I always like it to sound clean and all that. So uh, the other thing was right here in this handlebar grip. Um, so I had these RSI grips that I got, which I kind of knocked on them because they're a softer grip. Um, I don't really think they're meant for trail riding. Like here, these are the stock grips on here. So I wanted to use this one here. So it lasted, oh, a better, more than about a half a dozen rides. Um, but that's after I taped it. It tore right away, like after the first ride, like 30 miles in. Um, then I taped it and I wore down the tape. So I think with these, these are a good snow cross grip. Um, that you'd be swapping out after maybe one or two races or every other weekend or something like that because they're not going to be able to take the abuse like this hard rubber over here. You're going to use these where you want more of that soft grip. You're going to want to basically cushion your hand on those jumps and everything like that. Um, and then too, like the snow crossers, like motocross guys, instead of electrical tape, they wrap it with like a really thin wire and then they tie them up with that wire but i'm gonna rip this off put the stock grip back on and then get that set up and then probably move my bars back just a little bit because you can see as it's wearing on my handlebar here that's because i put so much pressure being forward and then on the outside of my hand i think if i lean these back in the corners they're not going to be because I sit farther back, so I'm only getting really good contact with the outside of my hand. I think that if I move those back a little bit, it'll be a little better for cornering, and then it's gonna angle the bars a little better so I have a better angle on them. So I'm gonna try that out. And those are the couple of things I have going on. I don't have anything yet for that I'm going to use to secure this tubing, but I'm gonna figure out whether I'm going to just get like some stainless steel zip ties or if I'm going to actually get maybe uh, so, some better clamps and stuff to go on there or to try to figure out how I can like clamp it, bolt it in and make it work a lot better. I think that should take care of it. Um, but those are the couple of things I have going on. Uh, tonight we'll work on the bars and we'll do that right now. You know, I was thinking of taking some goo gone and getting these big chunks off, but, and then the rest of it, but I was like, you know what? I don't want that excess little bit of goo gone that might stay on there and then break apart uh, the spray that I'm gonna put on. <clears throat> so we'll just try to wipe off some of the 
big chunks of excess here and then we'll call that good. There we go. It's not too bad. work a little bit of this off with our hand here and for me I've never found it that it needs to be perfect um, just close just close and roll with it there we go Looking pretty good a little more up in here Nothing really on the underside of the bars. Just a couple more patches right in here. big chunk right here just doesn't want to give most of this and then there's a couple other pieces I don't like but I think that should be fine all right clean enough on the inside of the grip and then for the last part um, this is, I think you can use any hairspray. I'm using, uh, sexy hair, uh, for your root pump plus big root pump plus. Uh, yeah, it, I don't think it matters. I think you could use whatever cheap dollar sport dollar uh, store hairspray you come across and we'll just spray a nice generous dose in here. way down here we go Woo! on All right. Yep. All right. Whew. There we are. Call that one good. Whew. I was sweating after that. Uh, I know before, and I was lazy. I didn't want to go down in the basement and grab my air compressor that I had down there. <coughs> You can put, which I have, an attachment on your air compressor that blows and then would inflate it a little bit. And I probably would have saved uh, my hand a little bit, but I was like, I can muscle it on. Future Kevin problems. But we got them on. Whew. Black grips now. Set to go. I'll take a little breather and uh, we will put on 
or not put on, but we will adjust those risers. Oh, hi. Just wanted to show a quick update uh, for moving the bars. So <clears throat> before I had them, as I was showing you, I had them set up more vertical and I wanted to tilt them down so they have a little more of an angle for my grip. Um, so I'm not putting so much pressure on the outside. And this is what I set them to now. So before just pretty much straight up and down. And then I set them back about, I don't know, 15 or 20 degrees or so. But I think that's going to be a lot better sitting on there. My hand's not going to be, when they were up here, I had more pressure on the outside of my hand. I think that's going to be a lot better and set in there how it is right now. So there we are. Uh, <clears throat> took care of the grip and then the handlebars, so it should be ready to rip here for this next weekend. I think I'm going to be going out to around uh, Frazee, the trails around there, maybe just a little bit, but we're going to be doing some skiing as well. Um, so the main thing is going out and doing some skiing, but I'll see if I can put on a few miles right around that area, see how the trails are like, even after it's warmed up a little bit. Um, but they should have some pretty good snow cover. I got a buddy who lives out there and we're going to spend some time in the woods and skiing and probably ride a little sled.